ancient batteries of Baghdad. In 1938, while cataloging artifacts from a dig near Baghdad, an archaeologist named Wilhelm Koenig stumbled upon something extraordinary, a small clay jar, about the size of a fist. Inside were a copper cylinder and an iron rod. To the untrained eye, it was unremarkable. But when reconstructed and filled with an acidic liquid, it produced a measurable electric charge. This humble vessel would come to be known as the Baghdad Battery, and it has puzzled scientists and historians ever since. The jars, dated to around 200 BCE, predate any known records of electrical experimentation by more than a millennium. Some believe they were used for electroplating, applying a thin layer of gold or silver to other metals. Others think they may have had a more mystical purpose, perhaps used by priests to deliver a divine shock during ceremonies, reinforcing the illusion of sacred power. Whatever the case, their existence challenges our understanding of how advanced ancient science might have been. Skeptics, of course, caution against overreach. They argue that the resemblance to a battery is coincidental, that these jars were simply storage vessels, perhaps for sacred scrolls or papyrus. After all, there's no written record describing their function, no ancient texts on electricity, no clear evidence of wiring or power use. And yet, experiments continue to show that, when reconstructed with vinegar or lemon juice, the Baghdad battery works. This paradox between what is and what should be fuels endless debate. If these artifacts truly harnessed electricity, what was it for? Did ancient craftsmen rediscover principles lost to time? Or does it point to an even stranger possibility that knowledge from elsewhere found its way into early human hands? Stories of alien aid often arise when history presents an anomaly too sharp to explain. But perhaps the more remarkable truth is human curiosity itself, that across cultures and ages, people have always experimented, observed, and pushed beyond what was known. The Baghdad Battery, whether a tool of science or ritual, is proof of that restless spark. Thousands of years later, as we wire our cities and power our world, that same spark endures. The clay jar may no longer hum with hidden charge, but the question it raises still electrifies the imagination. How much have we truly discovered, and how much have we simply remembered?